How to sell use net house prices to get an accurate valuation of your property. Advertising on net house prices. How do I do it as a homeowner and how do I get a valuation? Nethesprisprises is one of the oldest property portals online, however many homeowners don't know about it, preferring Rightmove and Zoopla. It can be a great tool to help sell your home and also give you a quick online valuation. Why should I spend time on getting my home ready to sell? First off, we're going to be taking a look at exactly why you should spend the time to get your home ready before it goes on the market. The truth is, if you take the time to do this, then you'll be more likely to reap the rewards of a quicker sale and a better price. The way you choose to present your home can be the different between these two things. Having the house that sits on the market, unsold, until you have no choice but to reduce the asking price. Having the house that sells extremely quickly, for full price. We know which one we would prefer, don't you? Very simply. If you want to sell your house quickly, then it must be presented as well as, or better, than its competitors. It should also remain competitively priced. A competitive asking price plus a well-presented property equals a quick and profitable house sale. It's that easy. Here is a few tips on how you can prepare your house to sell quickly. Step 1. Start with a deep clean. Don't miss a trick when you deep clean your property. Top to bottom, inside out, every space equals clean. After you've done this, try and keep your home clean and tidy until it is sold. Cleaning doesn't have to cost you a penny if you do it yourself. If you do think, however, that your curtains and carpet could do with some attention, then consider getting the professionals in. Step TWO, it's time to declutter. Decluttering prior to sale is an absolute must. Getting rid of clutter will make your house look larger. Decluttering will help you to start to look at your property like a commodity for sale, which is great, as it's a business-like transaction. It will also help you to distance yourself emotionally from the house. Not doing this may cloud your judgment and prevent you from selling your home as quickly as you could. It helps you to focus on moving. Yes, decluttering might be a little bit boring, but we would strongly recommend that you persevere and see it through to the end. It could make all of the difference to your sale. We would advise doing the following things. Throw away, or potentially donate as much as you possibly can. After you've done this, look at your cupboards once again. Are they still looking a little bit full? If this is the case, then you may want to consider decluttering further. Some people will even rent a personal storage unit in order to make their home look less cluttered. We would advise not having your cupboards etc. any more than 75% full. Believe it or not, many buyers will actually open and look inside of your cupboards, so if they think it looks as though there isn't enough storage for you, they will automatically assume there isn't enough for them either. Don't let buyers be put off your property by something you could have solved. Step 3. If it's broke, fix it. Take a look around your home. If there is any unfinished DIY or routine maintenance that needs attention, then be sure to get that done. If a house is well maintained, Potential buyers will immediately assume that it has been well cared for, which is something they will find desirable. Remember this, every time a buyer sees a problem that needs to be fixed in a viewing, they are mentally reducing your asking price, and they'll rarely reduce it only by the cost of the repair. They're also likely to price in the additional factor of hassle into their reduction, that comes from getting the work done. They may even just overestimate the costs. Unfinished, or poorly finished, DIY projects should be improved and made acceptable. If you can, buy a professional. Step 4. Make your first impression a good one. First impressions really do count, particularly in the world of selling property. Remember that buyers are judging your property from the very second that they step over the premise. Even if your property looks chic inside, if the outside is looking a little worse for wear, this will let it down. Take a step out into your street and look at your house. Compare it to the surrounding properties. How does it look? Walk from this spot up to your front door and really take everything in. What do you notice? What looks good? What doesn't? 
If every element does not look properly cared for and maintained, then give it some attention. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're trying to sell but it's not going well, if you can't get a sale and the estate agent fell, now is the time for you to jump and raise. Seven days with Lisa Hayes, where the price she pays, you'll be amazed. She's a national cash buyer and she'll pay you much higher today.